gonna be able to set. Alright, we'll we'll listen to what Parvati has to say in a sec. Um what on a whole other planet? I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts as Monarch is a wretched hive of terrorism and anarchy. We'd best top off our ammo stock before we leave. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? I don't know, Pyrus, what do you want to do? Mm, apparently we can't just sit. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Mm. Oh, no, that's just that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. Whoa. I've been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and feeling my heart shake. All right, let's have some wine. Oh wow, you remembered. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Purpleberry wine's all right if you require a sweetness to your spirits. It seems like a drink that would suit you, Miss Holcomb. Just mind how much you imbibe. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Whining, it sounds like. Uh, let's go generally or specifically. I mean, just with June Lay. I don't know what to do about us. Mm -hmm. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. There you go. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you? As an avid reader and collector of rare tomes, I believe I ought to have a look at this specimen of literary self-expression. Dude, sit down. No. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? All right. We're going to use our perception here. I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Uh, let's get to you some water. Oh, come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I'm a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good call. It's best to proceed with a light hand the first time. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Uh, you need to get over it. Quit being scared. Figuring feelings ain't so easy as saying words, Captain. Someone so brave as you, well, you can't understand. Bruh. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? <laughs> uh... 
Ah, uh, there. Y yeah, you just gotta go after Pars. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? Uh, yeah, Pars. Then you go your se separate way. Uh, you can't control how people react. <laughs> These are both good good advice. Um, just move on, like snapping your fingers. I don't know. Maybe I got a weak heart. It all just seems impossible. I didn't say moving on was easy. I said it's what you gotta do because you can't control other people. Yeah, yeah, I know you're right. I just wish it were that easy. Is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. We all do, Parves. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Anytime. Do you think I should ask her on a... a date? Hell yeah, Pyres. Alright, alright. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, You're good people too, Pars. Elsewhere, nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Oh, all right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on. The ship? The ship's pretty quiet. There's your drink left. If you want anything else, there's a glass of wine. Alright, well, um... What other things do we gotta do here? Well, I guess we could go to Roseway to see if we can pick that up, since it's already been paid for. Hmm. The other one, okay. That's going to Scylla. That's a side quest. Yeah, okay, so we'll get to that last. Uh, I have like no interest in uh, checking that out right now. All right, so let's do this. Okay, great. Just found it lying around. Nothing suspicious there. Hey. Someone's what coming. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Nothing. I was just leaving. Just don't complicate my job, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right. That's my bad. That was very brazen of me. Apologize. Oh no. 
Me, martyr. I wish I could do that. All right, so we can get automatically. Holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see you and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation, reset your shroud, it'll get harder to talk your way out the more you're interrogated. All right. Uh, we could rob that, but let's not. What? Where's the security terminal? Alright, well we're like halfway through. Hold on. Does this thing recharge? Immediately? Okay, great. Detained freelancer who was cagey about his business confiscated his personal belongings, modified pistol, hatchet, metal, blah, blah, blah. He fled before he could uh, get down to it, left his things behind, so they're stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows his face again. Alright, let's get to help. I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Alright, let's get this shit out of here. Hey, martyr. Uh, does it count as stealing? Probably counts as stealing. Okay. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so we need to go look for him on Monarch, which we have the thing for. Uh, so let's see. All right, so we have to take Parvati back to the ship. Found entries on Hawthorne's terminal in the captain's quarters regarding his attempt to turn Sam into a combat-capable unit. Hawthorne's plan to replace a Sam's Sud Steeper with an Acid Steeper, but never picked up the part from Roseway. Uh, all right, so let's go back to Roseway. Um. Hmm. <laughs> this tell us where to go uh, let's go talk to Gladys we have 12 whole credits so it's not like we can do much I had a question about your plan mr. Vicar of course the cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation also known as the grand plan by contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, uh, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Advertising for the following story. 
It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Uh, not per particularly. What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom? Probably. Well, uh, let's just go through all these. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Uh, how do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Know who June Lay is? She's June Lay Tennyson. Used to be she was chief engineer before her mama passed, and she took the helm. She's neck deep in the ship guts by day. Hold on. You already met her. What are you asking me about her for? Bit straight-laced for my tastes, but that's just her nature. She's fierce, too. A fighter. And between you and me, I think the fight's starting to wear on her. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I buy and sell items that require discretion to dispose of. Knickknacks. Curios. I also knit throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. What about non-famous players? I earned quite a reputation as a fifth back during my penitentiary, uh, seminary days. You do have a favorable mop, I must say. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Uh, no. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Alright, that's fair. Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch, but who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Um, alright. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler. But she's no match for your pal Gladys. Okay. Uh, wow, okay. I definitely don't have the bits for it, but nice to know that it's there. Oh, we can buy these? Can I buy them all? Perfect. Uh, battered Mardet data pad. An old data pad once used by the ground bay. Oh, okay. This is what we're looking for. It's 272 and we just spent too much money. Mm, all right. So we want both of those. Uh, well, what can we sell? We got junk. We do have some junk. Sell all junk. Definitely don't want to sell those. Don't want to sell mods. I could sell some of these though. Hmm. They're not worth a whole lot. Oh yeah, I 
I got so much armor. Interesting. I'm going to hold on to that for a while. Um, all right, let's check. Um, all right, 11. Light armor, 11. Okay, so the medium armor was the one that I was curious about, I guess. More than anything. Long guns plus seven. All right, so seven, we don't care. Seven, uh, helmet, heavy armor. I wonder if the codex tells me the difference in our, in our heavy armor. Wow, okay, that's a hell of a helmet. Great. Alrighty, how you doing? Hey, you got heavy armor. Uh, all right, let's let's check my goodness. Uh, light armor eleven. All right, so let's check uh, weapons and armor. Weapon management. Interesting. Okay. Um, I guess I just don't know if the different armor type affects me, or maybe it's I get a bonus for something here. Uh, character. Skills. Uh, defense. Doesn't seem like it. All right, so let's see here. Let's see if we can see details. It's 11. I really think the difference is in, um, the, the skills that you got going on. Alright, so I'm wearing a seven here. Twenty one. Inspiration plus three. Yeah, alright.
But I think we can sell the rest of this. Alright, so 24 is what we're wearing. Armor type is heavy. Mm, there are no special stats on it. Alright. We'll go ahead and switch that out. Alright, then we can sell the rest. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a top. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Oh yeah, I need to go through that too. Uh, but let's go ahead and just straight up sell all this. All right, now, oops. Take a look at our weapons. All right, 123 DPS, 108, but it's shock. What? That'll work. All right, long guns. Oh, right. Um. Long guns, 71 DPS. All right, this is the assault rifle. There's a shotgun, hunting rifle, another shotgun. Um, okay. What about this, this handgun? 107, 137. Oh no. And then the hunting rifle, uh, 51. Okay, so this definitely hits harder. Oops. And I think, uh, well, I'll get to a workbench and try and modify it here in a bit. Um, but that's kind of my my main gun. Well, these two are my main guns. So let's see what we can do to modify them. Um, all right, Parvati, your special skill is the hammer, right? Ability overload. Parvati slams down her hammer, creating blast waves. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we want her to have a hammer. This is basically where I'm going with that. And I don't see another hammer here. All right, and then our handgun. All right, Vicar Max, you got a uh, shit, one hell of a shotgun. All right, let's check out these shot, uh, plasma rifle, auto mag pistol, tactical shotgun, 238. Also tactical shotgun. Uh, it does more, but it's fewer shots. All right, so we're good with your shotgun. Um, this does more damage and provides a bleed. Hmm. I can give a mild weapon, which does a stagger. Uh, all right, let's do that. And the rest of these we can sell. And we can feel confident in selling them. Oops, wrong button. Gracious, 
I was just... You're fine. I found a handsome ceramic manda pillar at a salvage auction last week. All right, we're going to sell... All of that. So then we can buy quest items. The old data pad contains incident reports from various Mardet security patrols. Most are detailed of simple fi finds and dust-ups between the crews of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for later review. August 7th, 2344. Responded to a code idiot. Nice! ID10T at the Lost Hope. Vera asked us about some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with one of the en engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the rung leech back down to the bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once we controlled the hammer's power. If this is some new hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sunita. All right. October 25th, that's what, a couple months later. Had another run in with the rung leech from the Lost Hope. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the line of the line back bay bays without us noting. Wow, okay. Don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back bays without us noticing. There we go. That's a bit better. Locked himself into the repair bay off of docking slip 13 and refused to come out. Kept raving about the weapon's chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him out of it. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hullhead's gotta come out eventually. Alright, so now we've done most of what we need to do. Okay, so dude, I just lost what all that said. Um, quests. 